bowlers confirm Australia in charge of first test against South Africa in Durban. Spinner Nathan Lyon turned the first test Australia's way and first bowler Mitchell Strack remained ran home the advantage to leave South Africa 162 all out and 180 runs behind at stumps on day 2 Friday. Lyon burst into the game with two wickets in his first five balls and struck roared through South Africa's middle and lower order with 5 by 24 to put the tourist in full control of the series opener. There were questions over the real value of Australia's first innings total of 351 on its sluggish pitch at Kingsmead, a score built off the back of Mitchell Mars 96 down the order, but now was clearly a very strong one after South Africa's struggles against the beat the best bowling attack currently operating in Test cricket. AVD Villiers, possibly starting his last Test series, was 71 not out and a class above the other South Africans. Lyon, on as early as the 8th over of the innings, removed Dan Elgar, caught and bowled off his second ball, and Hashim Amla for a duck caught at short leg of the 5th ball he sent down. The surface was expected to sweet spin, but not as dramatically as it did in Lyon's sensational first foray. Elgar was beaten by Trump to spoon a catch back to Lyon, who took it two-handed diving to his right. Three balls later, Amla popped a catch to close fielder Cameron Bancroft and South Africa was 27 by 2. Pat Cummins put opener Aiden Markram back in the dressing room to take the team to tees, and Stark went through Captain Fuff to places for 15 and Thimini's D. Brand for six in the late afternoon to see the produce plunk to 108 by 5. Lyon returned near the end of the day to bowl Quantian D. Cock for 20 and struck hastened South Africa's final collapse from 150 by 5 to all out 12 runs later. Australia escaped from trouble. The Ashes winner was 177 by 5. Uh, on day one to push its way up to 351 uh, all-out in its first innings. With a comeback largely down to Mars and the three significant lower order partnership he anchored. He fell for short of second straight test 100 when he was caught at mind on trying to hit over the top of the infield to get the three figures. Despite that personal dis appointment, his innings lifted Australia to a solid first total of the four-match series, and the total that involved in to dominate one after the Australia's bowlers made their presence felt. Much put on 60 with Tim Payne for 6th wicket, 49 with Stark for the 8th wicket, and 41 with Lyon for the ninth wicket. Australia's last five batsmen added 174, nearly as much as the 177 made by the top five. Mitchell Mars was the second to last wicket to fall as he hit up in air to mid on, and Marnie Markel reached up to hold onto the catch, giving Seymour Veron Fillner his third wicket. Land was out and over later for 12 to work off Australia's innings. South Africa spinner Kashab Bharas took 5 by 123. Mart survived a low cut and bold chance to Pisser Kagisarabada when he was on 50, 42. Mart survived a low cut and bold chance to Pisser Kagisarabada when he was on 42. If Rabada had taken the sharp catch down near his ankles as he followed through, Australia would have slipped to 244 by 7 and Mars would have been neutralized. The South African didn't and Mars took those seas on and beyond 